Hello to the gamers. I have 51 minutes before multiplayer stuff today. We're doing more Helldivers 2. We're doing Gardic Phone at noon. So I figured, why don't we do some uh, psych tests to see if I've lost my mind. No, I will not be doing a self-diagnosed uh, autism spectrum disorder test. I think that's irresponsible with someone of my platform. Instead, I will just never get tested by medical professionals. But anytime I need to win an argument, I will invoke the possibility that I'm neurodivergent. Because that gives me the most power in rhetoric that I could possibly have. I solemnly swear that when we do these personality tests, I will give my honest answers in good faith. I will not give the answers that I think will output a result that will signal positive things to my audience just to use as a badge of honor. I will say my real opinion, I swear. Harry Potter reference? It's not a Harry, or is there a Harry Potter reference in the, um, in the test? Because I promise you, I will not be referencing Harry Potter. In fact, I went to this website earlier and I hit random uh, and it gave me Hogwarts house test. And I thought, you know what? We could just play an hour of sap instead. <laughs> but I said, no, 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 no. Let's start here. 32 questions on the food disgust test. My daughter, by the way, she knows that blue cheese existed. Um, she said, Daddy, do you know that there's a stinky kind of cheese called bluk cheese? And I said, bluk cheese? You mean blue cheese? And she said, no, bluk cheese. And then I said, what is bluk cheese? And she said, it has lines of green in it, and it's very stinky. And I was like, that's, that's blue cheese, silly. She was like, oh, blue cheese. I get it. I throw overripe fruit away. I'm going to give this a mild disagree. I will eat a banana regardless of its where it is on the spectrum. It depends on the fruit, though. Like a, uh, a soft apple, like an apple where when you bite in, it's like mealy and like a little bit brown on the inside. Like those go into the compost bin. But a, a banana that's a little overripe, I eat it. I say I'll give you a slight disagree. I don't mind if a slice of apple has turned slightly brown from being exposed to the air. I would lose my appetite if I found a little snail in my salad. Agree 100%. That's never happened to me. But if I was eating food and a bug, I saw a bug inside of it, I would be like, I don't want to eat this food anymore. No matter how irrational it is. I would not mind eating an apple that had had a caterpillar crawl over its peel. I'm going to give you a mild disagree. I, would, I was thinking to myself, like, if I saw it, I could just rinse it off. But then I thought to myself, if there were two apples and the caterpillar crawled on one and I didn't see it crawl on the other, I would definitely eat the one that it didn't crawl over. And then I would be like, I'll eat the other one later. And then I probably would never eat it. <laughs> so maybe it is, maybe it's a strongly disagree. You know what I was thinking? We, maybe not we, but I have a problem when I buy lots of fresh fruit. Let me explain it to you before you get on me, okay? We buy a ton of fruit to give to our daughter for healthy snacks and desserts and to take the daycare and stuff like that. So you buy like a carton of strawberries. Maybe it's day two. You pick out, I don't know, eight strawberries to slice, 10 strawberries to slice. The problem is sometimes you see a strawberry in there and you're like, this strawberry doesn't look like a primo strawberry. It's not like moldy or anything, but it like it's a little soft or like it's a little purple or something like that. So you, or at least I, grab like the 10 best strawberries. But because I grabbed the 10 best strawberries, the bad strawberries next day are just getting even worse. And then by the time I get to like the end of the carton, it's all the cast offs. And I'm like, I don't even want to serve this to my child. So you might say, hey, what you should be doing is grabbing the ones that are about to go, but then my daughter never gets to eat fresh strawberries. She's always eating strawberries that are on the verge of, you know, destruction. And I think that part of the thrill of eating a fruit is eating it when it's at its freshest. We need to invent better pesticides, is what I'm trying to say. 
We need to invent a synthetic strawberry that is shelf stable so that every strawberry is perfect. No, I've gone too far? Okay. <laughs> a Cavendish Dreamberry dipped in Mama Liz's Greek yogurt? It is gross in a chef, in a, is gross if a chef in a restaurant tastes a soup with a spoon without washing it every time he does so. This is a tough question because it is gross, but I literally don't care. Me personally, if there's like a boiling pot of soup and the chef dips a spoon in it, sucks the soup off the spoon, and then like is doing that all day, it simply doesn't bother me. So I'm, I'm going to hit you with a mild disagree. It's intellectually gross, but it doesn't bother me. I mean, when you think about it, like lots of food is gross on like a logical level. Like meat is gross, bro. That was, I don't just mean like in the sense that it was like a living thing, but that was like hot, wet muscle wrapped in fur. And then you're going to be like, oh, the, the chef should really use a different spoon every time he samples it. Like it's already, it's, it's compromised from conception, essentially. So I'm not going to have a double standard. Seeing a hair in my soup does not really bother me. This one is going to bother some people with my answer. Bugs in my food bother me for whatever reason. A single hair does not ruin my meal at all. I will pull it out and continue eating. Now, if someone like shaved in the soup, that's a different story. But I've, I know I've said this before, maybe while doing this very test before. I wanted to see if my results have changed ever since I almost died due to food poisoning. But like if I see a hair in my food and I'm eating with someone who gets grossed out by hair, I would rather just eat the hair than be like, gross, there's a hair in my food. Because if I go, oh, there's a hair in my food, the person with a hair aversion is going to lose their appetite. And I'm, it's going to like harsh the vibes for the whole situation. I would rather just tank it. I don't I probably eat like a thousand hairs every day by accident. I will not eat marmalade from which mold has been removed from the surface. I don't eat marmalade to begin with, but I would give you like a, a, a mild degree on that one. The thing is, you might be saying, well, the, what, the visible mold is not an indicator of all the mold because it's got like little tendrils and stuff that are, you know, spreading throughout the marmalade. But the thing is, the logical extension of that is even if there's no visible mold, they still got the mycelium in there, bro. Just because you haven't seen any like fruiting buds yet, that doesn't mean there's because there, you just at some point you have to realize there's mold everywhere. Yesterday, I toasted a bagel. It was like 533 in the morning. So just, you know, cut me some slack on this one. I cut the bagel, put it in the toaster. When it popped up, I grabbed the bagel, blue spots all throughout. I said, is that jalapeno cheddar? No, I don't think so. I'm going to toss it. Now, you, a fool, the bagel's gone bad. Me, a genius and rational thinker, that mold was already there yesterday in the bagel that I ate. It was just one day away from being visibly bad to me. But the, the progenitors of what would eventually disgust me were already in there. Like mold is everywhere. If you leave any kind of calorically non-negligent or non... What's the word I'm looking for? Not negligent. Non-insignificant foods out there, it will grow mold. We're eating mold right now. Like every time I breathe in, I'm probably consuming like, I don't know, a, a billion mold particles. Don't quote me on that one, doctor. <laughs> it's just a matter of your tolerance for mold. And mine is not that high. I would not, I would probably not eat. I would make you, if, there, if it was a full jar of marmalade and there was mold on the surface, I would make you scoop out half the jar. I would not eat part of an apple that had a worm in another part. That's a gimme. If a worm has gotten inside of an apple, uh, the whole apple is compromised in my world. If, I, if, if, if this is a starvation situation, you're eating the apple. But the fact of the matter is, when you buy apples at the grocery store, they come in like a four pound bag. You're usually not wanting for apples. If anything, you're like, what the hell am I gonna do with all these apples? So you're spoiled for choice. 
I find it gross to eat hard cheese from which mold has been cut off. I'm going to disagree. For whatever reason, cheese is the, the exception to the rule. Maybe because Parmesan Reggiano is so expensive. If it gets a little bit moldy, you're not throwing out 18 bucks worth of Parmigiano Reggiano. You're, you're cutting off the mold and then you're, you're microplaning the rest into your pasta. My mouth waters when I see a whole pig on a skewer. This question should be on the psychopath test. My mouth does not water in any circumstance. I am not a dog, um, but I would find it an appetizing sight, yes. It is gross to eat raw fish like sushi. It is not gross. I do not like to eat steak that is still bloody inside. See, this is where I'm almost like, is it like a, a Magic the Gathering thing? Should I answer the question in the spirit of the question or the literal question? I don't want to eat a steak that's quote unquote still bloody in the middle. I want it cooked like, you know, one level later than that. But I would disagree. Like red juice coming out of a steak doesn't bother me at all. I don't even mind when the red juice comes out in such uh, prodigious amounts that it mixes with the mashed potatoes and then you get like pink mashed potatoes. I'll, I'll eat the pink mashed potatoes. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. So I guess I, I got to go strong disagree on this. I would never eat those new snacks and dishes that are made from bugs. I have to give you a, a slight disagree. A bug that's not supposed to be there in food, disgusting to me. And if someone said, here's an appetizer, it's spicy crickets, I would prefer not to order it, but I have tried them before. I've had, I've had the crickets, I have bondegi a lot in South Korea, thinking that at some point I would grow to like it, but it always just tastes like sour dirt. Um, I've had cricket protein powder. I, I don't like any of it. But I, I certainly could not say I would never eat them. I am undisgusted by animal flesh and poor hygiene. Mildly disgusted by human contaminants. What is, I guess human contaminant is like my friend offering me a, a sip of their drink. Mildly to medium disgusted by mold. Not that disgusted by fruit. Undisgusted completely by fish undisgusted by vegetables, but I do not like bugs. <laughs> I will eat the bugs, okay? I just don't like when the bug is eating the stuff that I'm supposed to eat, and what I'm supposed to eat is not bugs. That's what bothers me. The Cambrian explosion video mess with your psyche? I, the video is disgusting to me. I would rather, like, have cockroaches crawling all over, like a slice of watermelon that I'm going to eat, than have, like, a, a, a diatom visible within like 50 meters of my location. I know they're invisible. I can't do anything about that. Trust me, if I could, I would. I am entering the war on diatoms on the side of extinction. How about this one? In, it's not an IQ test. It's an intelligences test. See, see what ways your brain enjoys thinking. Are you book smart or money smart? I, I linked it to Librarian yesterday. I didn't know, like I knew Jay Easy was running in his videos. I did not know that he was kind of quick with it. Like I'm not talking about the music videos, but there's like videos of him training, like running down the street, chasing a car. And he's like, he's speedy and he's kind of lean with it too. I didn't know. I thought he was just like a guy, but like he's, he's booking it. I'm usually good with animals. I would say I am better than the median individual with animals. I don't know what else to say. Like, I don't have any other reasoning. <laughs> Disagree? How would you know? I'm at the kids' birthday parties, and then the dog comes up, and I'm scratching him under the chin and going, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? And they're going, actually, our dog's a girl. And I'm like, no, sorry, it's a dog, so it's a boy. I know how it works. I got two cats. They're boys, but they're girls. Whenever a stranger comes over, they're like, well, what a beautiful cat you've got. And I'm like, actually, he's handsome. Nice try. <clears throat> I am good at detecting dishonesty in others. I don't know if this is going to be a plus two or a minus two. But I think that this question is basically asking if you're stupid. I feel that outside of like maybe CIA interrogators, 99.5% of the population is 
exactly the same at detecting honest, dishonesty in others. Is that crazy or is that the sanest thing I've ever said? Like, you, you ever have somebody be like, oh, I always knew something was off about them. Like when something comes out about them and they're validated, they're like, yeah, I'm a really good judge of character. And I'm like, you literally say that about everybody. <laughs> you fucking hate everyone. And then it comes true once and you're like, I'm kind of like Mindhunter, actually. I'm kind of like the smartest person that's ever existed. I don't think I'm good at detecting dishonesty in others. I think I'm exactly the same as almost everybody else. I can learn better if things are accompanied by charts, diagrams, or other technical illustrations. No. It would actually be better for me, instead of showing me a diagram fully labeled of like how a car engine works, if you wrote like a 35 page story that explained how car engines work, I would be more likely to hold on to that knowledge. I like to spend time going deeper and deeper into the things that are going on within me. Am I an introspective individual? Yes. I think you have to be when you start talking to yourself like 10 hours a day playing the Binding of Isaac. You need, you need to. Otherwise, what would you talk about? Did you see the Super Bowl yesterday? Yeah, I can't believe uh, Travis Kelsey only had one catch for one yard at the half. Like, uh, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. You'd, you'd lose your mind. It would be so boring. I find it easiest to solve problems when my body is in motion. This question doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Peloton? Yes, I understand what um, thinking or what exercising is. I just don't, I, I reject the premise. I've never had, I, I'm, I'm not trying to be pedantic, but I've never done an A-B test where I like do algebra while I'm, riding the bike versus doing algebra while I'm sitting down at my desk, I feel like I'd be better at solving problems at my desk because I wouldn't be spending so much energy trying to exercise. It means like life problems. But you don't like, I, I, I find it a false premise. You don't solve life problems, you just make a decision. And then you like post hoc rationalize that you solved it, but you couldn't not solve it, you had to do something. There's no way to evaluate your solution versus the myriad other solutions that you could have done. So how do I know if my solutions are better if I'm in motion versus at rest? Do you address problems while in motion? <laughs> I have no idea. I, I can't answer. I'm going neutral. I feel like this question does not make sense. You could divine from that what you... There should be a button that's like, I don't get the question. And maybe that would give them another data point. I spend a lot of time reflecting on my own reactions to things. I think that's true. To thine own self be true. My litmus test for this is that after I ban someone, later that day, I go back through the ban log and say, did they deserve it? Most of the time, the answer is no. But also most of the time, it's bad enough that I do need them to submit an on-ban request. <laughs> See, oh, Prezzo said, I kind of get it. Well, the, I think... As a streamer, you get it. It's like you, maybe you're half tilted. Someone says something that aggravates you and you ban them. Later that day, when you're at an emotional like norm, when you're back at your set point, you're like, ah, they were mostly just joking around. Like if I was in a better mood, I wouldn't have banned them. But then you read the message again and you're like, but they should know better. They were trying to elicit a response and then they elicited a response. So, you know fuck around and find out a little bit, but we can, we can meet in the middle. You can say, sorry, I said that. And then I'll say, in most circumstances, that probably wouldn't have led to a ban, but when you're already tilted and then you're pushing someone a little further, it can happen. I spend a lot of time thinking about the emotions of others. <sighs> I'm not trying to gas myself up. I'm gonna get, you're gonna say you're a sociopath, it's not true. It's a mild degree. I'll tell you why. To be able to make fun of your friends, you need to have a reasonably good idea of where they're at emotionally. If your friend is like having a hard time or you've been laying it on too thick, you can't be like, yeah, your mom, fuck you, you fucking loser, you fucking suck, you know? You, can, you gotta wait till they're on a high and then you, you, you probe them to see if they're ready for it and then you hit them. And if they're having a bad day, you gas them up a little bit and then you cut the legs out from underneath them and then you gas them up. There's a cycle to it. There is 
that you have to know the emotions of others to like get along with them. Of course, you got to read the room. I'm pretty good at reading the room. Okay. I am good at making a good impression when meeting new people. I think this has changed over time. I think I used to, you know what it is? <laughs> Before I was more connected to the normal world when I was not a streamer. Because I had this streamer brain a little bit. It was always a little tilted on the axis compared to the average person. Not staggeringly so, but a little bit. But 98% of my time was in the normal world. And I made a pretty good first impression. But now I have this outlet where I get validated every day for my unusual thoughts. And as a result, I've lost some of that connection to the normal world. And I think when I make a first impression, people are kind of like, I don't think they dislike me, but I think they're like, this guy's not just a normal guy. <laughs> they're like, this guy's got a little flavor to him and we're not quite sure where he's you know if you like it you like it and if you don't like it you probably find it like aggressively annoying but I, I think we're in one star red territory right now it is also true I saw someone say as you get older you care less I wouldn't have thought so when I was uh, younger but it is true now I'm like I mean I'm 35 it's pretty much just like this till I die right so like I mean, that's a long time horizon. If you end up alienating a couple of people because they like don't like the jokes that you like, it's not so bad. There's always more people out there. <laughs> not everybody has to be a fan. That's okay. I often look things up in the dictionary. Um, I mean, this is an insane question. I don't often look things up in the dictionary, but I probably look up more shit in the dictionary than like at least 90% of the population if I had to guess. So is this relative to what I would think is a lot or is it relative to what the norm is? I think I'm at least at a, at a two piece. It's easy for me to identify how I feel and why. Yeah, yeah, I would say for the most part. Usually I'm like, why am I so grumpy? And then I'm like, oh, because I haven't eaten anything. I haven't eaten anything today because I'm hungry. <laughs> why am I tilted? Oh, because we were supposed to leave for the grocery store at noon. We agreed that we were going to leave at noon, but instead we left at 12.03 and it threw off my fucking mojo for like the next two hours. <laughs> I spend all the, how many questions do we have? I spend a lot of time analyzing my own emotions and reactions. I do, okay, I do. I am good at reading maps and finding my way around unfamiliar places. I'm under oath, okay? You may not believe this. That's a problem between you and your cerebellum. I am not bad at navigating, including reading maps, in the real world, I swear it to you. I even, ever since our SD card out of our car got stolen, I'm driving around Vancouver with no nav. No nav, Jerry! This street is in this neighborhood. Here's the roads that run east-west. Here's the streets that run north-south. I'm gonna, uh, here's the major thoroughfares. Like, you know, my ass is not gonna be driving on like 40th. When instead I could be on 41st, where it's like two lanes and then a third lane that sometimes gets opened up at rush hour. Like I'm, I can navigate in the real world. Something's just not right about me navigating in video games. I don't know how to explain it, but like in video games, I get turned around a lot. In, in the real world, I don't get turned around basically at all. Sure, it's happened occasionally, but I'm out of the fucking house all the time. So I, I am good at finding my way around. I swear it to you. I like dancing sports or working out. See, now here's the thing. You got me looking like some kind of 80s aerobics instructor, okay? I don't like dancing at all. Why are you pitting two bad bitches for each other instead of against each other? Working out is a, a, a meditative act. It's what a monk does in a monastery in Kathmandu. 
You learn something about yourself. You develop your discipline. It's not just shaking your ass and, and doing the drop it, then pick it up challenge and swiping your nose like a credit card. You know what I mean? Like they're, I, I feel like they're being derogatory to the spiritual value of physical exercise here. No disrespect to dancing. I don't know how to read this. <laughs> I feel like I'm being insulted a little bit, okay? See, because here's what bothers me. Now, some of this, I don't think I have 83% intrapersonal intelligence. I think that's a little bit optimistic. Um, oh, wait, intra is within myself? Never mind. That makes perfect sense. 30% interpersonal intelligence. That feels a little, actually, that feels more like an insult. <laughs> I know what's going on inside of me. I got, come on, I'm good at reading the room, man. I'm good at reading the room. But 57% linguistic intelligence, I kind of feel like they're, they're taking a shot at me. But then I'm taking issue with the entire test at this point. Can I tell you why? Because it didn't ask you how good are you at these things. It said, do, I, do you enjoy this? Do you enjoy this? No, I'm saddled with linguistic intelligence. You know how much I would love to look at a technological diagram and be like, I know how an engine works? That shit is like Neo learning Kung Fu in the Matrix, dude. It, like, it makes no sense to me. I can't do it. Instead, I got to read like 300 pages of a manual and be like, oh, this is just like when uh, Odysseus uh, saw the sirens and strapped himself to the mast of his ship in order to not get seduced by them. Like, it's, that's not the way that it should work, man. But you didn't ask, are you good at it? You said, do you like it? Anyway, good test. Cool one, apparently. Oh, hell yeah. A morning hell divers two session. What are you doing, man? Where'd you find that quiz? What are you, are you talking about? The multiple intelligences quiz? Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. I went to that website. That shit is all AI generated, man. You don't want to know which of seven characters you would be from Better Call Saul? Well, I clicked <laughs> on the thing. I did the one you did, and it literally just regurgitated what you answered back to you. <laughs> the, the the food aversion one? No, the intelligence one. You're just it jealous because like, I have 83% intrapersonal intelligence. <laughs> well, I had like 80-something percent intrapersonal. But it was funny because it was like, do you like music? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, do you like music? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, you have really high music knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Oh, okay. I suppose congratulations. Okay. Neither of you are delusional. So that's good. Yes. <laughs> Bullshit test. They had a dog breed one, and I, uh, I took that one, and uh, it just put out an AI-generated uh, image of a bulldog at me with a missing leg. <laughs> that's what that's what dog you are. <laughs> Apparently, a bulldog missing a leg. It's just annoying because like half of the questions were, "Are you like affectionate publicly?" And I'm like, "No," and it's like, "Oh, bulldog, I guess." And I'm like, "I don't think that yeah. is what that. I mean, that's so many medals." It's kind of crazy. Like at a certain point, if you want stuff off the battle pass, I feel like you're going to have to grind main missions. Just do the mission and leave. Because you only get like three. Bro, you know what I realized? No. Marvel movies have actually become cinematic battle passes. Let me elucidate my case. <laughs> when they started, everybody was like, hey, these movies are like pretty good. Plus... You watch them and then you learn something in the post credit scene about like where things are going to go. That's like doing your dailies and your weeklies in like a, an MMO or something like that. But then they made the movies bad instead of good. But for a while, people still watch them out of a sense of duty because they're like, oh, I got to see it. Otherwise, I won't max out my Marvel Battle Pass. And when, I, when they eventually make a good one, I'm not going to know who any of the characters are. And now it's been long enough that they're like, I have been derelict on the Battle Pass for so long that I just hope they stop making them. I'm 100% oh, no. buying the Mortar Sentry, and I'm sorry in advance. Corey oh, no. said it's not good, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> he said it kills your teammates. Oh, yeah. 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 It's really good. <laughs> it definitely murders you a lot. <laughs> there's, there's no discerning between enemy and foe we'll and friend. About that. By the way, I played this for a little bit last night with randoms. 
I was... I understand why you guys get mad when I blow you up with ordnance now. Because yes, uh, online, there is no decorum, and people will just see a bug and throw, like, an artillery strike on top of it, even if you're right next to it. And then they won't call in the reinforce. You'll you'll be waiting for, like, eight minutes, and you'll see them just, like, check their watch and, like, reload oh, 20 man. times. And you're, like, <laughs> smashing the space bar, like, reinforce me! Out of your mind <laughs> playing this with randoms. That's not, what you, that's not what you told me what happened last night. What did I tell you happened last night? You killed your entire team as the dropship landed. That happened. Yeah, I did, I, that, I did, that did that. happen once. I did. Ah! I did kill my entire team with a grenade raid as the dropship landed, ah! and then they kicked me from the squad. <laughs> <laughs> but then there was another oh, game where we succeeded on the mission, and I had more kills than everybody else on the squad put together. I took a screenshot. It's like the first time it's happened in like the last ten years of me playing a game. That's extremely cute. I, I posted it in the, in the Discord for my fans. I was like, I'm not washed, I'm not washed. But well, you boys didn't land on a mountain? No. I'm getting loot and shit down here, man. Hang on, I got a great idea. Fully automatic cannon effective against light vehicle armor includes support backpack required for reloading. Oh, I like the design. We have a better helmet. I guess all the helmets seem to do the same stuff. Orbital rocket barrage. <clears throat> Orbital walking barrage. Huh. What could go wrong? Oh, yo! Heavy machine gun emplacement. Shield generator? What? Getting some strategy. Killer machine. Yo, that's cool. Remember that one? Yep. I want to buy the fucking 380 millimeter barrage, but <laughs> it says communication with teammates is advised on it, so maybe. Mm. I also don't have enough money. Ballistic shield backpack? What the hell? You can be Montane? Dude, heavy machine gun emplacement seems pretty good. I mean, why not just use a turret? You gonna load us up, bud? Are you gonna sit in those? Where's my hug? Now? Where's my hug? <laughs> what? Where's my <laughs> hug? Increase orbital target speed. There you go. Hey! hey. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for like two and a half minutes. <laughs> everyone I was, was, the everyone was, was at the, the menu. Everyone was in the menu. I'm in the menu. <laughs> just at the PC. <laughs> Listing all the things you could buy. I was waiting for my hug. <laughs> he didn't say anything. I was waiting for my hug. Nades out. Bug outpost spotted. Oh yeah, look at this thing. Watch out, lads. Eagle cluster bomb on route. Okay, I'm getting far away. Goodbye. I'm okay. dead. I have killed you. <laughs> oh, to be honest, I didn't think it would go that far. I don't think it's your fault. You guys want to wait 20 seconds for a resupply? Sure. We should, let's just do it while we're on the move. Oh, bugs. Because we're kind of... That's very yeah, close to where I decided to reload. <laughs> Corey, it is a 10 second timer, okay? There's a, there's a big beam of light and you get 10 seconds. No, I hit I hit reload and then you threw the thing right next to me and then reloading, reloading. Whoop. Ouch. Whoop. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Eliminated by dumb dog. Yeah, me too. Yep, yep me too. <laughs> Guys. Was that was that a mortar? No. <laughs> What yes. was it? Cause, yeah, it, it definitely... It did also get like 40 kills, though. So. It did yeah. turn me into a pile of meat. Uh, so I am striking, I threw it way too watch, close. Watch out, the, the turret, big guy turret. ran right into Wah! me. What is going on, guys? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm on fire. Hey, did you guys see my post, by the way? You kind of iced me. 
when I said that there should be like a stratagem that's a big fucking drink that comes down with like four straws out of it, and we then when you all yeah. slurp it, you get like a you go like Super Saiyan mode yeah, or something. Yeah, it's the family value of big gulps, man. Oh, he did say it. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, or the big gulps the family value. I just uh, missed it completely. You said that shit in Discord. I did. Yeah, he did. Hey, I wasn't paying attention. I can't crouch through this. What? I think oh no, I'm stuck. I Usually, if you're myself. stuck, you can try to like die. Yeah, yeah I did. I did. <laughs> oh, good lord! Oh my god! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm on fire too. Uh, no, I just heard you running, screaming. That's. <laughs> oh, I see a. I see a mortar. Wow! Oh god! <laughs> I may have called it a mortar. Yeah, I see a mortar. All right, well, I'm not going anywhere in there then. Oh, I'm okay. dead by I've Justin. Been... By me? How? Something. I've also I don't been know. killed by a mortar strike. Justin. <laughs> that one. That one got me. Uh, I was like 200 meters away from the beacon. Did that say Justin for you, Ryan? No, mine said impact, and I was like, no shit. I watched mine the shell Justin. land on my fucking head. <laughs> Trying to take out this bug hole by myself. Don't worry, Ryan. I understand what you're going for here. You get one of these. You get one of these. Call Ready? Him in the morning. Oh, I love it. I love it. Call him in the morning, Ryan. He's been called. I got him just in time. <laughs> Calling in reinforcement. Bro, it'll take forever to bleed out, man. Is there another hole? Oh, why? <laughs> For I'm what back. purpose? I'm back. I'm back. How could he do? How could he do that? <laughs> Holy cow! You know what? Uh, Jetpack's got an eight-minute cooldown now. There's a lot of perks here. They're dead. I threw a nade on accident. Don't run into that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my fucking torso, bro. <laughs> oh, man. I, me, when I get captured by oh. terrorists and they're drowning me in my own piss. Is that a spore <laughs> spear over there? Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. I was going to say, like, when I see God or something. Oh, right here, right here. Apollo, do you have your gun? <laughs> I'm so bad at the uh, fighting game inputs. <laughs> I think there are times I definitely put in the opposite keys. Ouch. There's so the critical many stratagem bugs. available. Is my turret in the mountain? Yeah. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> it does appear to be inside. Don't forget of the your mountain. resupplies. It's pretty neat. Man, I am the Wait. Did the game just crash? Oh, did it crash for everybody? I do see some I of see you guys Corey running in space. space. Yeah. My, oh, my oh, mine is also crashed. My game just hard closed. Yeah. I'm going to guess that's related to the mountain turret. <laughs> yeah, the turret did slam inside of the mountain. Right it was it was spitting out sparks like a son of a bitch. I had the it's same thing happen last night. Um, for some reason, I got stuck in first person mode with no gun. And my dude was just doing like <laughs> like hard, not hardcore, but you know, like the dance moves they do under the bridge in that famous internet gif. Like I was just watching my hands go like this in front of my face over and over, and then it just, uh, then it stopped. Apparently Apollo's stream also crashed. Oh no, it didn't like kill his computer. <laughs> he hasn't said anything in Discord either. <laughs> oh no. That was a pretty hard crash. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. It's rare that all four people in a game crash at the yeah. same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw Apollo go first. And then all of us together. <laughs> Chinese textures are not looking right, man. <laughs> yeah. she's, look, she's looking like... No, it's just because I got it on, like, super low. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> she is like melted, bro. <laughs> what, what 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 have your frames been like? Have you tried like, because you lowered it to 1080? Is have you tried increasing anything yet? Why would I increase it? It still looks like garbage. It's you're still getting shit frames. Yeah, like in in the ship, it's not too bad. 
And like as soon as we land, it's pretty good. But whenever there's like mm. you know a hundred aliens on the screen, it goes down to like mm. fifteen, twenty. I have not been having the same issue. I guess I should count myself fortunate then. The shit should just look like Vampire Survivors. Just make it look like Vampire Survivors. <laughs> we would never, although Vampire Survivors slows way the fuck down too. Now that I think about it, since uh, we're awaiting Apollo, I'm gonna go piss. No problem. Do you ever try playing like Enter the Gungeon on the Switch? Mm, no. That game. That game will. That cooks that poor tablet. <clears throat> The, my only thing I don't like about Helldivers 2 is that everybody in chat becomes Linus Tech Tips. You got to understand, yeah. you get the stream that you deserve, okay? People are like, why don't you buy a new wow. PC? Because my Helldivers 2 viewership is 35% less than when I play uh, Wordle in a browser. So what would you do in this situation? Man, Brian, do, do you still watch any uh, Good Mythical Morning? I have not watched a YouTube video by choice in seven years. That's crazy. It's uh, just, it's a you nice. Know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's been a nice change of pace. I don't think that the platform has a human being's best interest in minds. As it's just been very funny. Go and participate like, in society. Yes. Yeah. So like they're kind of like vanilla, right? Like they're they're very family friendly most of the time. There's some subtle jokes every now and then, right? Yeah. In the past week, there's been a, a, a cuck joke and a goon joke. Farm? <laughs> Good Mythical Morning, and it's been, like, it's been so bizarre to, like, see Link trying to, like, he doesn't know what gooning means, but he keeps referencing it when, when one of their Zoomer uh, staff said it. You want my advice? All right. Yes, I do. Let me give you my three keys to success, all right? You gotta grind. I'm up at 4 a.m. every day, hitting my first goon sesh. Then I'm getting my protein shake in, chasing that with some Macallan 18, hitting a second goon sesh. Then I'm in the Tesla on the way to work. Second tip, you can't have empathy, okay? You gotta care about no one but yourself. Third tip, I don't got time for it because I'm making so much money. Also, get a $5 million gift from your father and commit as much tax fraud as you can. Okay. Like this guy. Yeah, that last tip, that's Good. important. <laughs> I more important than the goon sesh. <laughs> Nothing's more important than the goon sesh, right, okay? Sorry. Uh, the DMV Super Burrito is from Washington, D.C. No! <laughs> what? Hey. No! Hey, we go way back. I have no empathy, you goon. <laughs> have we heard from Apollo? No. That's concerning. Yes, he has not ridden anything. <laughs> 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 Did his computer actually blow up? Is he okay? Me hoping that he didn't die, but also hoping that his computer exploded because he keeps asking me what's wrong with my computer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There was a power outage across the whole Austin power grid for sure. Or uh, for real. Guys, we have to delete the VOD. <laughs> we nuked Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Austin Powers grid? <laughs> Me. My favorite wordle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. God, who was it who thought Mojo was cum? Is that you, Ryan? Well, it kind of is. Yeah, like, in I get what you're saying. like a metaphorical sense. Like when he steals his mojo, he loses his male virility. Yeah, yeah. We could probably run one while. We, I mean, I think he can join wanna, like, while we, while we go. Yeah, we might want to lower the difficulty though, maybe. It's, it's got a scale to the amount of people, right? Oh, uh, does it? Okay. Probably. Yeah. My leg. I didn't need that. Just chill for a second, guys. I need this resupply. Yo, look at the the samples. Samples. Um. No! What the hell? <laughs> I, I couldn't stop. Did you not mean <laughs> once I started going with the jetpack, I couldn't stop, man. That was pretty incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Did you land on him? The, no, the the, the, the resupply landed. landed on me. I've handled the terminal. Okay. Bro said relax all hands. Evacuate yeah. priority citizens. Oh, okay, we do have to go do that. Calling down a sentry. That's uh that's back where we were, that that you like to air control tower. To oh the, Christ. To the north. 
Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> How did you live? It shot just that, next to me. <laughs> that was incredible. That is amazing. <laughs> You're going the wrong way, Ryan. What? It's to the north. Okay, so this one, have you guys done this one yet? No, I, no. this is my first. I so. Okay, so we have to like, we activate this panel and then we'll have to go push buttons. And then three humans at a time will run across this compound into this door. And we have to protect Oops. them. Okay, what the hell was that? <laughs> that was a grenade I threw. Okay. Uh, large fella. Whoops. That's not the right button. I've launched a cluster. <laughs> My ass cannot stop pushing all. I don't know what happened to my textures, man. <laughs> I'm actually like back on the Nintendo 64. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, he's stuck, he's stuck. Uh, violate his ass. Oh, I'm being owned. I got destroyed. Don't worry, I got a perfect spawn point for you. No, oh, man. Oh, you got him? Yeah, yeah, no sweat. I've launched a cluster. <laughs> My ass cannot stop pushing alt. I don't know what happened to my textures, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm actually like back on the Nintendo 64. <laughs> That's so good. Uh -oh. oh, big guy's still not dead? That's ah! a little close. <laughs> Wow. That, that, that one's on me. Sorry, sorry. Wow. Yeah, that was very close. You literally exploded my legs and heads off. <laughs> heads of heads? I got him. I got him. I got him. I got, I got him already. Oh, he's got him already. Look at that. Where are you coming back? Ah! <laughs> where my ass die? I don't know. We're out anyway. Over here. Over here. Yeah, but I had all sorts of samples and oh, shit. Oh, so true, so true. Oh my right, god, I got you guys. Ryan, I got you. Stop. <laughs> oh no! Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, that one's on me. That one's on me. It's all right. I'm gonna find. <laughs> I'm gonna find the samples again. There we go. Oh my god, I'm, I'm getting in this damn ship. They can't hurt me in here. Yeah, me too. Fuck this. <laughs> I think I got my samples. Wait, wait, there's a sample back here. I don't see any other samples. I'm just taking a, a I think peek. you should go. Whee! That looked very funny. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got a little big for my britches. I will still say zero friendly fire. Though. Well, I was tossing sorry. cluster bombs instead of strafing runs. That's my problem. Mm. Ronin chili oil. <laughs> Burnside chili. I'm gonna start We're just hitting all the. We're hitting all the voice. I reckon I could like consist consistently do that for an entire day. That voice for a whole day. Yes, yeah. Justin. You have to end every sentence like going up. That'd be so I hard. can do that. I reckon. I think I can oh. do that myself. What is going on? Call can I I, back. I can hear my voice in his microphone. I'm sorry. No, I, I have to it's read gone this again. I uh, tell only when I talk. I run in chili I oil. Muted. One second. So I I banned someone during the Helldiver section for being a Linus Tech Team. Linus <laughs> Tech Team. I banned someone during the Helldiver section for being a Linus Tech Tips Andy, and I was just seeing if I should repent for my action. Uh -huh. Here's a message they left in stream yesterday. 
me talking to bisexual Jar Jar Binks takes him <laughs> to the of mice and men field. Usa gonna get I much dick and puss presses gun against his <laughs> temple and pulls trigger. <laughs> Man, yeah, that's that's that sounds like a, a worthy band. Oh, oh, fuck. I was going to say, damn, that's Unbanned City. You got a joke, dude. I'm on Tatooine, <laughs> straight jorking it. So, no, don't be. Sorry, I have your chat open because I was talking to them while you were Chat, chat no thinks problem, they have no a say in it. Like, guys, yeah. come. Th this is, mm. You don't have a say in it, guys. This is, this, is not your, this is not your realm. I was thinking about the Unbanned, but then I saw that they have 4,000 hours in Team Fortress 2. And I'm like, that's... Oh. That's, That's just fair. not okay. Why I mean, doesn't anyone uh, chant VIP him when I talk in, in your fucking chat? Huh? You're not mm. you're not VIP? No. <laughs> Slash VIP, I think it's funny. HC Justin. There you go. I, w I wouldn't burden you by making you a mod, but you can have you can have VIP for sure. That's fair. I made you a mod so you could have fun with my unban requests. I do love looking you can do at whatever it. you want. Oh man, one you unban second. him, you ban him. I don't care. Let me take a look. Let me see if you got any juicy ones. I don't know if they're good, man. I don't look at them. That's just the psychic okay, damage. I will exercise. Wait, I want, I want to look too. We just all live react to them. Is there oh, anything fun there? I'm taking a look. Okay, okay. I can see why these people got banned. <laughs> ah, maybe I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not messing yeah. with them though. <laughs> I think I think some of them are some behind the scenes work. Yeah, I'll like a look. maybe they got banned from like someone else's chat and then yeah. shared mm -hmm. the ban over here. Let's well, I had a ban mm -hmm. once. I had an unban request. I was like, hey, I don't know why I'm banned here. I've never been here. And I looked and I like manually banned them in mm -hmm. 2016. I'm like, oh, you said something dumb in a friend's chat. I yeah, that must have been. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just, it's crazy, like, because yours, I think, are collateral damage, which is totally fair, depending on what they said in someone else's chat. All of mine are, like, fucking violent. People call me, like, a Zionist or, like, one dude oh, said no. lining up 16 cops and sucking them off, like, one by one. <laughs> and I'm like, my ass is playing, like, <laughs> Super Auto Pets or something like that. Why I'm, was it 16? I don't That's know. That, I, that one's probably still in my on-ban request. Give me... Because <laughs> if, if, if it's really bad, I leave them in limbo forever. Not that they're sitting there, like, obsessed with the stream. I'm sure they went on to, like, harass someone else, but... <laughs> Let's see. Let me see here. Mine are usually, like, someone will say a slur and I'll ban them, and then the unban request will be like, I'll still say it if you unban me, but my bad. And it's like... <laughs> <laughs> At least they're honest. Oh, it's like, dude, cause just because... Oh, so you can lie in these and say, like, oh, I'll never do it again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Would here you like it me is. To lobby lord it, or you? Oh, please, kids? yes. You are a cop loving bald. Gets out of his car to suck a cop off. Amazing, best performance ever put to screen. Won two awards at the AVN Awards. Much love, you fucking freak. Keep up the great work. <laughs> okay. Won two AVNs is actually pretty funny. That I'm is so lie. funny. 16, I want to know what the these are the messages were. just before they got banned. What is this game? You oh, 16 man. cops lined up in a row waiting to get their cock sucked by you. Do I have to <laughs> do I have to blow a cop's cock before I watch this stream? <laughs> like what is oh, what God. happened, man? They're broken. <laughs> That's wild. What was I what was I playing? Yeah, I wonder oh, what no. you were doing. <laughs> cop sucking simulator? I don't oh, know. it was yeah. cop sucking simulator. <laughs> you, know, you were playing that game where you're constantly blowing the police. It makes sense. <laughs> and I was going, they deserve it. They deserve it. <laughs> well, I already got the, the spit ending. I needed to go back for the swallow ending. Oh. Mm -hmm. right, we're right into the deep end today. Fuck it, man. Take the frickin' plunge. <laughs> I forgot about that part. God damn okay, it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Who wrote it, dude? <laughs> Who wrote it, man? Uh, yeah, I got it, too. Uh, oh, I can't God. draw 17 people in one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what color are the stars and what color are the stripes? 
Uh, the stars are like white with blue behind them. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the stripes are like red and white. The stripes are red, huh? Yup. Well. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> I'm done. I got no time. It doesn't look right. <laughs> I draw like a six-year-old. It's actually comical. It's I think perfect. a six-year-old would draw a bit better, maybe. I don't know if you know that you're muted, by the way, Ryan. I'm muted! Sorry, I, I wasn't talking, but I do a. I, I didn't know I was muted. I just alone. I, I, I figured you were just intently drawing. He hates our ass. Yeah. Well, I do suck at drawing. That's a given. <laughs> I mean, we all do. I just realized I'm drawing I'm something, and I'm That's drawing it do. like an old person. <laughs> this is not. This is not right at all, dude. Oh, fuck me, man. It takes me a little bit to warm up, you know? In a couple rounds, dude, I'm laying down anime scene. My sad guy's so sad. <laughs> I need to draw the most <laughs> genitals. I feel like I drew really well. <laughs> I like the little guy I drew, but everything else is crap. Oh, That's true, yeah. Without man. Rob here, it's an even playing field. <laughs> he, just, he throws the curve a bit. Oh, man. I'm going to hit auto. I'm going to turn on voice. I'm going to nice. go from beginning to end. And yeah. who do we think drew that one? It was definitely Justin. Sucking off 16 times. <laughs> I forgot about the text-to-speech. <laughs> oh, 17 cops doing a desk pop as Ryan nurses his broken genitals. <laughs> okay. What? I don't know what a desk pop is, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Comp securing kill at the funeral. <laughs> oh, it does look like he's shooting him, huh? Okay. <laughs> I thought he was shooting the coffin. A flamingo riding a sick bike. Yes. Oh. That's a killer prompt. Oh, that's great. Uh, great drawing. Uh, mm -hmm. Fucked up can be riding big wheel bicycle. <laughs> oh, oh wait, it's so good. How do the bikes kind of look the Pink same? Pink Goblin riding old timey bike with a big front wheel. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, good. That's basically yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, we got yeah, a, pink, a, what, a what, sicker what, bike than a penny farthing. What is a flamingo other than a pink goblin? <laughs> yeah. <Yep. laughs> Sucking off 17 cops <laughs> at the Pentagon. At the Pentagon. I don't think Pentagon. I got this one. I couldn't draw 17, bro. We, yeah, we narrowed right. it down to one. Cop letting you off with a warning for spilling drink. I see. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> his hand. The spider legs oh, return, yeah. dude. Not crying That's over good. spilled bottle of piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it works. That's the accurate. Spider legs are back, dude. <laughs> he's he's a, he's at attention. George Bush first time on Google. <laughs> I love oh. this. <laughs> dude, your flag was all fucked up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a nation buying oil online, America. <laughs> America. Oh, dude, all is a burl. The what ghost of Abraham Lincoln checking the price. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Abraham Lincoln. I've been doing a lot of art lately. So like, maybe I'm not. What do you as, mean? Well, I've been doing a lot of coloring books. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so cute. <laughs> There's something about that amusing. It was cute. Oh, it was adorable. Yeah, it's very it funny. Oh, that's that's what he looks like. Yeah, that's accurate. And then, nice bright sunny day. You sound like Bob Ross, bro. That's so cute. Just some happy sunshine. <laughs> he does sound like Bob Ross a little bit, doesn't he? Yes. And and here we're gonna add a uh, cop being sucked off. Just a little, little beautiful <laughs> cop being sucked just, off. Just, just a cop firing his gun. Randomly We're big fans of the police of here. We love the and cops. we made a mistake here. And you know what I like to say? That's not a mistake. We can just turn that into a spot of cum. A happy <laughs> little cum on the ground. Just a happy little blowjob. <laughs> it's so yeah. embarrassing that this shit Running took like time, 120 bro. seconds. Is this undo? 
done. Dude. I'm done. That's no! it. Send my guys, my stick. guys, real happy about this. Oh man, I'm I'm really pleased that I've got a strategic censorship in place over the advertisements right now. Currently <clears throat> advertising for lingerie. I'm just gonna keep Yo, my head what kind of lingerie? Right there. Hmm. Just gonna block all that with Bear's big happy face. Oh. This okay, is yeah. uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog putting oh. out a house fire. Uh, okay, that's good. Oh, this state. No, this definitely <laughs> state that. Yeah, dude. There we go. <laughs> He's trying to help. He had a hose in that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at the puddle like, why won't you put it out? <laughs> it's turned into a shit that spawned out of a house fire, I think. It's, <laughs> no, I think it's, it's a flaming it. shit. It's a Big story of Clifford shit. giving up. Yeah, yeah, true. Much. yeah, and turning like a little evil. I could have sworn it <laughs> was just a puddle by the of water. Day. Oh, yep. whoa. My God. Yep. Man, I didn't get anything even close to this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now <laughs> I see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. <laughs> The blue hair. <laughs> yeah, you know where I got this, blue hair from. this is the aftermath. After you get too high, you dye your hair, <laughs> dye your hair ninja yep. blue, and you vomit yeah. profusely. Ooh. That was like pasta. Uh, <laughs> I love the ninja worm. Oh, dude. Oh, wow. That's, ah! oh, that's lifted straight out of his kid's coloring book. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 no, no. Oh, hey, it's kind of nice though. A, a, a scene at this point. They turn into. A <laughs> okay. <laughs> no color is correct. In yeah, that yeah, I really fucked that. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. An orange and an apple having a breakdance battle. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got the head spinning orange. Really. Apple bug and orange bug. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. This is exactly what I drew. <laughs> Dude. That's fun. Spider apple in a spider orange. <laughs> Ian, yep. the, they I both mean, have six legs. Those, yep. those must ex exist oh, in the shit, spider they verse they do. now, right? <laughs> it's like Uncle the one thing about gas spiders. Station. <laughs> <laughs> Gastigation. Oh, man. <laughs> Gas is expensive and unfair. What? <laughs> what? Is it, say, is it gas is expensive and I'm throwing my hands Donut up and I'm Donut boy soda got stuck in the vending machine. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> what? I typed a lot more than that. I typed the gas is expensive and I'm throwing my arms up in the air and I'm f oh uh, gas is expensive and I'm f and I'm fed up with it. Also, uh, uh, maybe you ran out of time. Also Something like that. I'm sure. Yeah. 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 Mama Mia, I put my balls in the pasta maker. <laughs> oh. I like the way he read that a lot. Uh. Man impressed with his huge gun penis. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh wow! <laughs> awesome. Smiling man says, "Well, he is nude." Yep. Oh, yep. secret's pretty good. That's, That's pretty. Well, secret is pretty good. Gun, I think I dropped. I had ball. no notes, man. I'm, I'm free balling. I'm free balling this one. Do you hear that? Yeah, what the hell was that? What, what was, was that? It? <laughs> Sounded like a. Was bug. it me? Yeah. Oh, there's a cicada outside my window. Is it that? <laughs> yeah. Cicada. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was awesome. How the hell are we hearing that so well? Oh. Like, yeah. yeah, I thought you were listening no, to no, the Prodigy or something. It's just life in a forest, man. I'm it's surprised you can so hear it. so loud. That's a How loud cicada. Scary, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. You throw a book at it? No, no, I closed my window. Most successful cicada of all time. All right. I know, it's troll. Dude's trolling. Oh, okay. It's this one. <laughs> Wait, this is so good. This is exactly what good. I envisioned, dude. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> He's firing his freaking laser beam, man. Oh, oh that's so good. <laughs> oh, man. I like it fast. 
Yeah, that's really POV or shit in the toilet, but the dude that took the shit <laughs> loves eating the poop in the toilet, dude. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Justin's got some creepy eyes. That's always a theme. Well, there's three phrases or three frames of setup for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. A little, a little pivot at the end. <laughs> I mean, the, the throwing the sunglasses off looks perfect. It really does. It really yeah. does. I don't know why. In my head, there's a dude that is so funny, and it's a guy that jacks off with perfect posture. I've thought about that for like the past two years. <laughs> it's the funniest thing in the world. I think about it all the time, dude. I thought about oh, it last man. night. That tickles oh. me, dude. Yeah, that's real fucking funny. <laughs> I love it. I love that guy. <laughs> Fucking hate this. Ooh. I love this. <clears throat> so I gotta start with the essential. This has the potential to be the funniest thing I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. You got this, dude. Don't get in your head about it. Oh, this is all fuck. This is fuck. This is fuck. It's okay. <laughs> Halfway through time. This oh. looks good. This is good. This, I don't have the tools necessary to land the plane on this one, man. Pardon? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I feel like I underdrew this one. I've been sitting here for so long. <laughs> that's me enjoying it. <laughs> that's you enjoying it? That's, that's the... I... I, <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to draw quick and I couldn't. <clears throat> How is there a six? Though? I see it says five out of six. It does say five out of six. But do you get... No. Do you get your own prompt to draw? I know what I must do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. I'm using a reference image for this one. I should probably censor mine, I think. Yes, please. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I had to as well. I thought he was getting right. shot. Oh, yeah. Maybe he's getting... He got shot, <sighs> but it made him come. <laughs> nice. That's what that sound was. That's just a good stretch. You can feel it in my toes. I love those, bro. Those, that's a moment in life you have to cherish, those types of stretches. Right? Because one day you're going to be old, you can't stretch. Or I'll throw something hurt. out when I do, yeah. Exactly. You guys watch Bluey, Ryan? Uh, we've been known to. Yeah. Best fucking show in the world. Do you think Luna would vote Bluey for president? Mm, I, I thought that somebody would choose that. I think that's an astute mm. choice. Yeah. Right now, if I had to guess, the president for her would probably be like um, from the show Number Blocks. Oh. It would probably be number three from Number Blocks, I would have to say. Wario, she likes, or How a shy you guy. Off if your Sorry. arm was your dick. <laughs> this is important, yeah, mm. if you don't mind. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's top tier, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the blood okay. Okay. So <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I see. I see. I just wouldn't. I suppose is my answer there. It's no longer. Oh, that's oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not a sense of fun, bro. He figured out censorship. Hey, oh, Justin. Oh. We did. We had Bullshit. exactly the same idea, man. That's incredible. Did you guys both go to CVS? You, you both went yeah, to CVS. Went to that's a blood pressure machine. <laughs> man, that would squeeze your shit. That's why it's so know, high. Look at that blood pressure machine. Is. But you both went to the same blood pressure machine. You, you went did, to the same you did. Yeah. A succulent Chinese meal. I struggled a little. Me too. Is his shirt made out yep. of noodles? Yeah. It does look like his shirt's made out of noodles. I struggled too. Oh, that looks good. Thank you. It's not hair. And the stuff on the right's rice. Yes, <laughs> yes <laughs> Chibli. Yes. That also works. It's England. Awesome. That is, yeah. This is Chinese it. food in England. Oh, it's chips. Oh, yeah, it's chips and ketchup uh, or something. It's a Chinese, dude. A Chinese meal. Yeah. That's how nice. they would say it. Oh, man. And that was... that's been stepped on. Right. Oh, this is my best good. work. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> He's got a human face. Yeah. He's so old. Oh, that's so good. He's, like, preventing it. Yeah, he's pushing yeah. back. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He's got like a 26 pack. <laughs> oh, that's good that too. I like that. Like yeah. What? You see wow. the world's smallest <laughs> round? <laughs> you see it? What am I, you see what am I looking yeah. at? Oh, oh it's like the a, bottom of a like shoe. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shoe oh, print in the dirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like a skyscraper. Oh, okay. <laughs> Art is kind of therapeutic, huh? A little bit. That's nice. I can see it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm supposed to be a pirate, but I think I just made Blastoise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it, man. This is going to be a good one. Now, this was tough. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. yeah, very good. Nice. That is uh, Eddie from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Ah, I like oh, that. Yeah. Very creative. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're holding in the block, dude. Yeah. Get the holding it in. Very good. That's good. It's like a Sanrio character going around. Oh, wow. Is that? What is that? There's two ball guys kissing and their tongues yeah. got turned into yeah. a heart. Are you kissing yourself? <laughs> yeah. Interlocking tongues from a top-down perspective. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. You like my Mickey? Disney yeah, X. That's a good Mickey. That's a quality Disney Mickey. Plus? <laughs> <laughs> his, his is Disney X. That's a different service. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> I see the Blastoise now. Yes. Ah, yes. Oh, 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 very good. Dude, it's open, all man. back. Oh my yeah, god. Nice. Oh wow. I like it. I love this. Oh, kind of a frowny face to begin with. Dude, Ghibli! Hey. Oh. We're waiting for the NLSS to start. Nice. Yo. <laughs> hey, what are you guys gonna cook up with this one? Dude, man? I I mm. killed this one. Oh <laughs> ah, nice. Oh my god. <laughs> so oh, really? strangled there, dude. He's choking. Yeah, oh, Frankenstein oh, looking a foot. Oh God! Wow, that was Wait, a totally different That's direction. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Me talking to Darkstalker Katha. Dark Souls? Anybody? Oh. I can't. I can't. Never played them. Mm -hmm. I played one of them. Guys, can I open my window? Yeah, you know what? Whatever. Cicada? I don't know. I think the cicada is gone. Oh no! <laughs> what? You know why it sounds like a cartoon every time you go to open your window? <laughs> like... It's fucked up. It's a fucked up place that I live, dude. It's a it's a crazy house. Just hearing like things fall. <laughs> it's so old and like funny. <laughs> They're wooden window frames, so they're like, they like swell and like shrink with the weather. It's crazy. Mm. Ours are metal and they just rust. I remember when I sent a picture of my, out the view out my window one morning and no one in this Discord believed that it's where I actually <laughs> live. <laughs> I, I do. Yeah, I know, that was crazy. We, we've been misled before, to be fair. That's true. Real, it was real, I promise. 
Okay, so uh, we're adding to this, and then it removes something? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. yes. Yes. It's so now, funny good, what it removed. Goodbye, S. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's going to remove bears. Okay. Wow. This is interesting. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey. Not bad. Mm, I don't believe I saw any of this. I, yes. could, I learned I couldn't draw forest fires. I was really bad at drawing oh smoke. <laughs> I still the, the, the don't know. Fire. Fire. Oh, <laughs> it deleted like everything. Uh, oh, that's what fires do. Oh my what? God! Wait for <laughs> this. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> 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 That's good. That's good. That's a heck of an outcome on that one, dude. It's turning into an onion, man. <laughs> Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that was, but I made them sad. Yeah, that's Jack oh. Dorsey, the founder of Twitter. Ah. <laughs> You're <gonna eat> dead. <laughs> it's weird how you added the the character and almost looked similar to the previous character. A little bit, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> wow, huh. The sun just like I mean, it's just it's uh, unsettling, it dude. It is London. <laughs> oh, yeah. That that's how that happened, I guess. I Yo, made it. It's amazing. <laughs> I made it look like a dick off. <laughs> He's getting a score, dude. Oh, He's getting his dick rated. I read Thai birds eye chili dipped in. I read Thai birds eye chili. A chili oil. A I didn't type quick enough. A bun? <laughs> a bun? <laughs> a good meal, Carolina bro. Reaper pepper. <laughs> <laughs> and then we all have a terrible group shit to round out the otherwise excellent stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. That's good. A hop and a good meal. There were three guys arguing about what to eat for dinner. Oh. One guy said to the other two, I want them to add a four-point line for half-court shots. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to work, grabbing all my tools and setting out to fix all this bullshit. I did it. The end smile. <laughs> the end smile. They added four-point lines. Yeah, well done. Good resolution to that one, too. <laughs> quick, quick, I have no time to explain. That's a good start. Take both of these parakeets, don't eat them, and wait for <laughs> my go. I wait, and wait, and the phone <laughs> rings. Eating time Man. delivery driver didn't have the pieces he only had. His floppy six inches. So he gave me the tip. Oh, wow. They came together at the end, not going to lie. Yeah, that that was places. Man. AI assist. Sonic the Hedgehog is my stepdad. <laughs> my real dad. God wish I could find out. So I went to the dad's tour, where yes. they specialize in dads, new and used. Mm -hmm. Even some vintage models. Anyway, they were closed so I had oh, to burn God. the place to the ground. Oh my God! <laughs> Not the dads! Oh, that's pretty good. That's Rip pretty good. That was really good. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a Dead new recurring Pepper NLSS character. Mm -hmm. This was another suggested prompt. Look how crazy that shit is. That what is the hell? insane. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Presidential assassination. Oh, 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 I did this to that one. Oh, oh my God, Justin. Joe yeah. Biden announces <laughs> the hangover for... Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> The first time those they ran out of buns. They ran out of buns. No. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, a hamburger, no top bun. Got pickles and tomato. Nailed it, brother. Ran out of bun. Oh, oh it's angry a little bit. Good, but... dude. Hamburger with tomato and pickle. No <laughs> top tomato, bun. Mate. Look at that. Tomate. Oh, having a good meal. You made it. We did we it. We made it. 
We did it. <laughs> we persevered. Good job, team. Proud of you, boys. Go, Proud of you, buddy. boys. I did. I liked that a lot. It was a fun garlic up until my brain fried. Yeah. yeah, it was good. It was good for like yeah. 90 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Max. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. Right, right, like, right up until the point I was like, I don't want to draw anymore. Yeah. I'm going to run yeah. another hour solo. <laughs> you should, there is a, there's a solo game mode. Go crazy, oh, is dude. There? Oh, okay. There is. Just, I imagine him playing it normally, just typing in a prompt <laughs> and drawing it. Yeah. it. Oh, <laughs> shit, dude. Yeah. Who he gets wrote a prompt. This? He's like, who wrote yeah. this? Oh. <laughs> same joke, same joke. That's how you know it's oh. good. Yeah. The me laughing as the AI reads out <laughs> my prompt and then laughing when I see my drawing. Holy <laughs> shit, that's exactly what it is. Uh, that would go hard, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm going to get some lunch. See you yeah. later, yeah. fellas. Yeah. See, ya. see ya Thursday. Bye, gamers. Bye. I won't be here. Sorry, I have to type. Um, I won't be here tomorrow. Kate and I have some administrative stuff to do. And then after that, I mean, it's Valentine's Day. So we're going to get a nice lunch. It's not realistic for us to get a nice dinner because our daughter will be out of daycare at that point. We can get a nice lunch, though. I will be back on Thursday. Swag Wednesday is canceled this week. Or post... Well, you can still swag it up, but I won't, there to, I won't be there to be your official swag ambassador. You will still have swag Thursday. And the Swag Friday. I forgot Kate got me lunch. I was just about to say, what am I going to do for lunch? I've already had two bagels today, but the only food I've got in the house is bagels. But, oh, she got me lunch, man. Let's go. I want to see if the Peloton sub-community, if the bot actually posted my ride today. It does not... Excuse me, mods? Mods? The bot in the Peloton Discord no longer posts uh, my rides. And the rides have been good lately. It no longer posts anybody's. No disrespect, I don't really mind if it doesn't post yours, but I really want to see mine. Because the rides have been good. I need, I need more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Someone to lean on. No, okay. Three, four, my name is Pink and I'm here to say I'm at the club every day. I like to sing, I like to dance. Sometimes I wear skirts, sometimes I wear pants. Ooh. I kinda, I'm kinda digging it, bro. Okay, I need, I need the real melody, please. Yeah, uh. Skip remote employment. Fifth harmony, work from home. Okay, I don't think I've ever heard this song in my life before. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard this, man. With God as my witness. It has 2.8 billion views. You must have? I don't know. I wasn't riding the school bus the same year as you guys were. It was a good pandemic song. This shit came out in 2016. It's peak retail. I don't know, man. They should put some dismemberment plan in this, John. Okay, I'm going to assume that Kate is live, and I will send you over there. Lexus, we're cutting rates 
Have you seen Slackers? I don't think I can imagine any other streamer who might have seen it. Have I seen Slackers? What a ridiculous question. I love you, but I hate you. Which brings to mind how much I love you. We could have worked things out, you know, in my little room, in my little locked room. I'm sorry that you had to settle for Dave, the one-dimensional man. He's filed under cocksucker in my little black book, Sweetness Can. Rot your teeth, bittersweet, cacophony. And you hold the key, you hold the, you think I don't know every word from Slackers? Devin Sawa, Jason Schwartzman. Kind of insane this information occupies space in your brain. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that sometimes when I like, I hear a song, usually like during a Peloton ride, I'll, I'll hear a song that I've literally not heard since like 1998, and I still know 80% of the words. I'm like, what are you doing in there? <laughs> 